So, I don't know if you guys have seen one of these or not, but this is an iPad. I ended up getting the 64 gig, the 3G version. I had the Wi-Fi, and it actually works really, really good, and I really think that most people can get by using the Wi-Fi. If you travel a lot and you don't have a Wi-Fi card, or you're not in places that actually have Wi-Fi very often, then maybe the 3G is for you. One of the biggest complaints about the iPad is that it doesn't support Flash. But I just want to say one thing. When Steve Jobs speaks, Steve Jobs is usually right. It's slow. It overheats my computer when I'm trying to play Farmville. So I can't even imagine what it's going to do on these smaller devices. And for me, battery life is actually most important. And if you want us to be able to view your websites, well, you better change them. Because this is kind of the way of the future, whether you like it or not. As for the iPad, my main thoughts, I wish that it did have a camera. That's probably one of the biggest features that it's lacking, besides Flash, but we already know my thoughts on that. I enjoy actually reading a lot more on this device. I feel like I go to a lot more websites on my iPad because it's so easy to read, and it's awesome just to whoop, whoop, just kind of scroll through pages. I also enjoy watching a lot of YouTube videos. Um, the YouTube app is pretty awesome, but the one thing that I feel like it's lacking, because I think most people that watch YouTube don't necessarily follow people on YouTube as much as some of us do. People go to YouTube just to watch random clips. There is no option to just go to a specific YouTube channel, and if there is, I can't find it. Obviously, the featured videos, top rated, most viewed, and your favorites, and you can get your subscriptions as well, so you can log into your account. My other favorite app that I love to use is the ABC Player. I watch a lot of shows on ABC. Lost, V, Modern Family. Initially when it was launched, you weren't able to watch videos over 3G. That's all changed. You can watch here. Lobo Lost. It works really well. The following episode is presented with limited commercials. Anyway, of course the back. Shh. Another app that I absolutely love and cannot live without is the Netflix app. Obviously, if you're not noticing a trend here, I like to consume a lot of content. The Netflix app is pretty awesome. I have an, um, probably the cheapest plan, so I get one DVD a month. I actually never actually get the DVDs. But with this plan, it allows you to just uh, be able to stream pretty much everything that they have on the site. Oh, Netflix. As you can see here, I'm currently watching <laughs> season one of Bones, which is a really, really good show. A lot of the games that I've been playing on my iPad are actually the games that I've been playing a lot on my iPhone before. I found that I don't actually download any apps on my iPhone anymore. I have the standard Tweety and Facebook and that kind of stuff, but I pretty much download all of the games and things on my iPad because it's such a better viewing experience. All in all, I'm pretty much an absolute huge fan of the iPad. I love it. I can do pretty much everything that I want to do, except create content. It's definitely not a creation device other than Keynote and Pages and all that kind of stuff. It's really something that's used mostly for consuming watching videos, surfing the web. For that, it has absolutely changed everything that I do. I no longer actually use my MacBook as much as I do. I use that mostly for editing videos and this for pretty much, um, yeah, surfing the web and doing everything that I just said that I do. And that's the iPad. I'm a big fan, if you couldn't tell already. I'm going to be doing a few iPad app reviews here shortly, so stay tuned for those in the next uh, video.